I'm here in the Muslim part of Manila and it's less hectic than Quiapo, that's for sure. So the, back right behind me, they just sell a bunch of like clothing and textiles here. I don't know, just a bunch of like street food and eateries. So let's see what we can find here. But if you're wondering why I still have my backpack directly in front of me, it's only because for safety reasons and I don't want to become a victim of pickpocket. So it's always a good idea to have your belongings directly in your sight. And also, I'm actually leaving tonight back home to Hawaii. So that's why I have my big backpack with me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have this thing with me. So I can't leave it at the hotel. But my flight is tonight and I'm really going to miss the Philippines. I come here a lot, actually. So let's see what different province I end up coming to the next time. But for now, let me just enjoy walking around the Muslim quarter. So I got this calamansi juice drink and it came in a bag. This is the very first time I've had a beverage in a bag actually. So this is the quintessential way to drink a beverage in the Philippines. Let's try it. Mmm, so refreshing. <laughs> So I'm here at the famous Bastille um, eatery here and it was trending very recently so you can get it for 10 pesos and it comes this small wrapped in a banana leaf. So right behind me is actually a call to prayer right now because it's actually 12 so call to prayer is going on. So what you do is you can eat it with a glove because you're going to eat it with your hands. You open this and it looks like this. Comes with the rice as well as the shredded chicken. So there's hot sauce and some soy sauce, vinegar, patis, I guess, but I'll just eat it plain. Let's try it. And for only 10 pesos, this is super affordable. It's a good lunch option. Here it is. Mmm. Delicious. The first time I tried pastille was actually in Cotabato last year. So this is a popular meal um, down south in the Mindanao region. So let's continue eating. Super delicious. Okay, I just finished my pastille um, quick merienda. And I need another drink. I've been so thirsty while I was here in the Philippines. It's just super, super hot. So let's see what kind of drink I can find. I tried the gulaman. I tried the mango, calamansi, this orange drink. I think it was cantaloupe. But let's see what else I can try and drink. I'm not too sure. I opted for the mango. One of the vendors quoted me 15, but this one that I got is only 10. So I don't know how I got gypped a little bit, but obviously I got the 10 peso one. So let's try it. Oh, so refreshing. I'm going to enjoy this. So I'm just still walking around the Muslim quarter and I can honestly say that I truly enjoy coming back to the Philippines. I come here so often, I don't know, maybe twice a year, three times maybe, I'm not sure. But I love exploring different regions of the Philippines, you know. The people are what makes my trip, like, incredible. And they're super nice, super friendly. I ate so much this trip, especially in Manila. And I ate at a lot of the um, food spots that were trending. You know, a lot of these like food vloggers vlog about their food experiences and they've the vendors have gone viral. So this trip made me so full. I still have my mango juice in a bag, but I am so hot here. 
but the landscape of the country, the culture, the people, um, just everything about it makes it so special, so unique. Um, but let's see what next province I will visit here in the Philippines. Hopefully it will be very, very soon. See you later.